We are just starting our cooking class in Northern Thailand. So we go to the market first, get the ingredients, and then we will go cook five Thai courses. A lemon glass. And do you know this one? Lime. Yes, please. This is kefir lime. come to Pai for my birthday and we rented this Airbnb on a property called The Art Farm. The farm was beautiful and we really enjoyed a relaxing few days here. heading to a meditation retreat about an hour and a half away from high and we'll go for three or four nights we think we'll see how it goes we arrive at the temple and are briefed on a daily schedule and the rules and are led to a cabin to get white clothing to wear for our time here then we head to our respective male and female bunk rooms, though there's no bunks, there's just mats on the floors, one of the rules is not to have a high sleeping space. And the day starts at 5am to either meditate in your room or do whatever this lady is doing. We however opted to help out in the kitchen in the mornings to prepare for food for the day. At 6.30am it's time for the rice offering for the monks. This is a tradition of the forest mountain monks here. At 7 a.m. we eat breakfast, the food is vegetarian or vegan, and consists of whatever is donated to the monastery. There's some downtime before the first walking meditation at 8 a.m. At 11 a.m. we eat the second and final meal of the day, meaning that there's a 20 hour break between meals. The 1 p.m. meditation is both a sitting and a walking meditation. At 
4 p.m., everyone volunteers for one hour, which is mostly just raking the grounds. At 6 p.m., there's a chanting and sitting meditation. We spent five days here before heading back to Pai, where we spend the weekend with friends that we made at the monastery. This is Bobo, not his real name, and he spends three days with us in Pai. <laughs> Jamie hits the road, sans Bobo, for a few days to do the Mei Hong San loop, while I check into my new friend Vicky's hostel for the last few days in Pai. Jamie did not take any videos of his time on the road trip, but he did say that it was stunning. We're in Chiang Mai doing some laundry and trip planning because we will be heading down to Bangkok and then down to the islands and south of Thailand in a few days. We meet back up with Luke and his friend Beth for a few days in Chiang Mai. The boys clearly missed each other. Jamie, just wave normally. <laughs>
this part. We are heading to our sleeper bus that will take us from Bangkok to Champion or something. And then we take a ferry from there to Koh Tao and we'll be spending just over a week or so in the islands before heading to meet our friend Sarah in Phuket.